What's up, modern steaders? We're here at the Mother Earth News Fair and we're looking at some nice gardening tools that this gentleman makes in his backyard. Let's find out how he does it. So what's your process of making your of all these nice fine tools? Well, it, obviously it varies a little bit from tool to tool, but first step is the foraging. Uh, we start forging all the shanks yep. first. Uh, the blades, I cut these blades out in a plasma machine. We buy this in four by eight sheets. Uh, and depending, like I say, depending on the tool and quite what we're doing, we'll do all the forging, get ready to weld, and then there's a cleanup step to get this uh, down to pristine metal for the weld. Weld them on there, and then the trowels, for example, they go back, they go for another round of forging where I cup them and put the bend in them. After that, they sit and cool off a little bit to where we can mess with them again, and then they go back into the forge a third time for a heat treat cycle. That's the, uh, you can see, the heat treat line here where we've got a hard edge out here that fades back to softer, more ductile material in the center Yep. Uh, from the way the slag holds on to it there. So what's the best way to condition these after you've been using them for a while? Uh, well, after you've used them for a while, a little bit of any kind of a light oil. Uh, I like the beeswax and linseed oil because the wax gives the oil a little bit of extra tack yep. to, to help hold on. Um, the reality is like these are dipped in beeswax and linseed oil now, but uh, they're all carbon steel. Over time they're going to pick up rust and the best way to maintain your tools is just keep using them. Awesome. If it rusts, uh, you're not using go, it enough, go, right? yeah, you're not using it enough. And once you start using it again, it's going to be shiny again in a couple hours. Now the handles, they just finish with beeswax and tongue oil? Or? Tongue oil, linseed oil, a little beeswax, just the natural oil off your hand if you're using it a lot. That's where you really want to take your time to take care of it is the handle itself. Don't leave them out where they're getting wet, dry, wet, dry. Um, Take good care of the handle and the rest of it will be fine. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of rust on this isn't going to hurt it. Within the first couple hours of using it again, it'll be shined up and, and look like a new one again. These tools are awesome, guys. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to go check out Will over at the Homestead Iron. The link will be down in the description below. And tell him hi from Lumna Acres. We'll see you guys next time.